Hey guys, I actually uh, apologize if this is a late, late video due to me being at work a lot, but I actually wanted to upload some new content because I'm kind of a new YouTuber, so I apologize if my content's not as snazzy as everyone else's, but as a shout out to Joe M. U. Speckles, I think that I would highly recommend his channel because he's a real good gamer YouTuber that is struggling right now and would really appreciate it if you went to go check out his channel. I wanted to talk about a particular thing that I love the most. Recently I've been playing a lot of Chrono Trigger on DS, which is the remake of the PlayStation, which is the remake of the original SNES version. And I have to say, I really do still feel that nostalgia is still in it, and I really love this game a lot, and I would highly recommend it to anybody who's never grown up playing an epic game like this, because it really motivates you to do things that you never thought you could ever do, you know, just from a game alone, because it's not just a game, and it's that epic, and I, like, literally think you should play it, and I, this goes for Chrono Cross as well. <laughs> But, uh, as main focus on Chrono Trigger, there's a lot of things that, growing up, I did not know existed at the time, and one of them is something that I came across years later, after the fact that I graduated, quite recently, within the year 2016, was this OVA, which was some kind of an animated short that had something to do with Chrono Trigger specifically, but it focuses on two monster characters that happen to be in the game. But the difference is, is this new actually happens to be more optimistic, and it made me want wonder why that is. Because the ones in the games are known to be real sad, and aren't actually all that energetic like this one. And then it dawned on me that some other people noticed this too, and started commenting that this new that's happy all the time in this OVA needs to be, you know, fat and lazy and not happy and stuff, and they started criticizing them, but then I actually delved deeper into it and realized it's more than that. They're not fat, they're not lazy, they're not any of these things that these people think, because if they really played, played Chrono Trigger, they would have realized that the news in the game only hid themselves away from you, not because they were lazy, but because they knew they had the power to kill you in two hits, so out of respect and honor and dignity, they did you a favor and spared your life not to fight, because if you get caught into a fight with like low level monsters with this guy around, he could actually help them kill you in like less than two turns, and that's pretty dangerous, so from what I'm gathering from research and theory and speculation, these guys don't actually like fighting, they're peacemakers, and they would rather not fight, so that's why they're so mysterious like people have been saying. They don't actually want to hurt you, so their intention is to hide. And as far as people saying that they're stupid because of their derpy appearance, that's not true either, because remember the Specchio, the pink new? If you think about it in terms of Pokemon, he's like the shiny equivalent of a new. And, you know, they kind of already look like Pokemon in a way anyways with their water grass appearance and typing that they might have had. And so I think Specchio then is the expect, you know, is like a special new that literally hides himself until he reveals like his true form at level 99, being that pink new, which is very rare, even more so than a blue new, because you don't really see them being that color. So honestly, I think... They're more intelligent than you think they are, and they're not as stupid. Just because you judge them on the way they look doesn't mean that that actually describes who they are as an individual, and that's wrong. People that jump to that conclusion need to really reanalyze and re-ask themselves, like, is that literally what they're trying to say here? Because I don't like the fact that these people that did see this OVA as late as I did are basically saying that this character has to be fat and lazy and blah and all that just because he's being different. I mean, honestly, I like the news. I actually love them a lot more because they've taught me to be more interested in being myself instead of being something I'm not. Because that's the exact epitome example of why people put you down and why you should go against what they do. And that's what I like about the news, because they're like my favorite NPCs. I know a lot of people think that they're stupid, they're dumb, they're fat, they're whatever. But I wanted to, 
point my point across to let people know that I especially love that character because he's having a good time, because he's smiling, because he's unique and different. Like, the only other speculation I have about that new from the OVA is that m maybe a friend of mine on DA did say that he travels with Magus, so maybe he comes from the king kingdom of Zeal itself, and so he just doesn't know that negativity is a thing. So he's just enjoying life to its fullest, so he doesn't really know any better, because it's not that he's stupid. Yeah, the Kilwala guy does take advantage of him throughout this entire short and everything, but you have to remember, the short itself, yes, it's indeedly based on a manga series with the same title. My friend is also...